So I decided to post while I'm getting myself ready for the night. Um, I take my showers the night before, before work, because I get up at 4.30 in the morning to go to work. So I rather take my showers at night to avoid having to get up early, any earlier since I like my sleep. So, sorry, it's like my bedroom bathroom's a mess. It's really not. And you notice I have blue painter's tape right here. This is the color we painted my bedroom. And this is the color I'm going to paint this, but it's been up for about two, three months. I've been painting other parts of my house instead of my bathroom because I'd rather paint places that people are going to see. You know, I have natural, well, I used to have really natural curly hair. I have curly hair and I wear it straight all the time, so I flat iron it all the time. So, last week I posted um, a video feeling blah. It was on Sunday. I just felt miserable. Um, Monday was Martin Luther King Day. And I woke up and it really hurt to take deep breaths on the side. Like, so, and then my right shoulder back here really hurt. So I went and got my daughter's results from her MRI. And we got the results from the MRI at the Children's Sports Clinic. It's right next to a local urgent care here. So I went next door, my husband, me, and my daughter, and I wanted to get checked out because I was scared I had another pulmonary embolism. So the pulmon, um, four hours later, they did a CAT scan and did check my D-dimer, um, did some blood. Doctor said no matter what, since I've already had a pulmonary embolism, he's going to do a CAT scan just to play it safe, and I was very appreciative of that. So anyhow, um, we sat there forever. My daughter's starving though because she had Nate. So my husband was going to take her over to the only freaking fast food restaurant that was by, which was a McDonald's, and she knows I won't eat that. So he thought, no, she'll get called back soon. Well, I didn't. And after I, I got to the urgent care out one eleven thirty, and it was about one thirty, one twenty, he took her home because she's like I'm, she's bored, bored out of her mind. So he took her home. Ten minutes after he left, I get called back, of course. So I'm back there. He ran home. He had had to work that day um, for a couple hours, and so he was all dressed up. So he went home and changed himself, and then he came back with his backpack and a water for me and his iPad and his, I think that was it, yeah, and some charging devices in case we needed them. And I already had my iPad because I knew I planned on possibly going there. Anyways, the pulmonary embolism came back negative. So I've been having breathing issues just that day and then of course my shoulder was hurting. I had already started physical therapy for my shoulders. And I had two this past week, Wednesday and Thursday, or sorry, Wednesday and Friday. And they said my muscles are extremely tight. And that can cause some tightness around your lungs or your rib cage will, has muscles around it. And it can cause some issues as it's contracting and whatever. I'm not a doctor. Anyways, so she worked on that a little bit. And so that could have caused some of the issues. So that made me feel a little better. But also going to the doctor. Had I not went to the doctor for that breathing issue, I would have freaked out all day long, wondering <laughs> when am I going to die. Um, so all's well as well. The very next day, I wake up Tuesday. I wake up to go to work, and I'm fine. No issues. It doesn't hurt to breathe anymore. So it was just like a day thing. I was fine with that. So I can live with that. Um, I know I'm doing my hair. I apologize. Eh, changes up the scenery a little bit. I know you really want to watch me do this. I just got out of the shower. I have the Sjogren's rash right here. You can't see. Maybe you'll see it. My lighting is really bright in here. But I get really right up here and right right here. I mean, but I'm also dry as heck. So, I'll be putting some lotion. I've been using this for a little bit. Um, it's for dry skin. I don't know if it works. <laughs> but it's almost... I've had it probably two years. I only use a little bit because it goes a long way. Could have had, I, actually, I probably have it longer. We've been in our house almost two years and I had it before we moved in here. So, heck, for all I know, it could be going on three years. But I use it. I figured I'll use it up. 
and then maybe I'll find something else. Go on to the next. So if you have any recommendations on something great for dry skin, I will be more than happy to hear those. I hate dry skin. Like right now on my leg, I have redness. I wish I could put my leg up here. I could, but you just can't see it. There's, yeah, the lighting's bad. But it's itching, so if I just put lotion on it, it usually stops it. So this one I really like. I love this one a lot. It's got a good smell, but it's also, like, I'm not one for fragrant lotion at all. Because fragrant lotions obviously dry you out. But for some reason, this one works well with me. And I love it. And it's got a little, like, a little glitter to it. Not that I want to be all blinging out, I guess. But, um, so tomorrow is Monday. It's a work day and my daughter has an appointment with a surgeon at one o'clock. So we are going to, get, I'm gonna leave work early, take her to her appointment. She, on last Monday, we got the results from her MRI that she had done and she had torn her meniscus. So she has a torn meniscus and she will require surgery. She's 13 years old, she's Nervous, of course, as any child would be, or adult, I mean, anytime. She just wants to be put under. She says, I really want to be put to sleep. I said, you'll be put to sleep. They're not going to cut into a child's leg of anything, if, even if they did. They're not going to leave a child awake while they cut into your leg to freak you out anymore. So she'll have that done in our local children's hospital, but we could go to the doctor's practice, which is about 45 minutes away from our house. So I have to drive home, pick her up, then drive the 45 minutes. And it takes me 30 minutes to get home from work, so that's, I hate that. Um, so they said I should know tomorrow when the appointment is for surgery. And I'll let her father know, and everybody will take off work. She says a couple of her friends are wanting to come for it, which, whatever. It's outpatient surgery. Um, I think she's... Um, loving this a lot. Kind of like the attention. Doctor put her on some crutches, told her to wear or, or use them. She hadn't been using them, you know. She's been injured for the last month and she hasn't been using them. And I mean, he just gave them to her Monday. So she's been using them a lot. But before that, she had been using them. Anyways, um, yesterday we went out um, for work. My husband and I. And we went with a lot, a couple, about six. 16 of us, I think, work people, got together, went to dinner, and they went to a Funny Bone Comedy Club, which was, I thought, a lot of fun. And I took my daughter and her, one of her best friends over to my boss's house. They have an 11,000 square foot house. It's beautiful. Well, have, they have all kinds of little gadgets and gadgets for the kids to do. Their basement has like 20 foot ceilings, so the kids like play nonstop in that basement. It's not, fin it's not finished, so they ride their bicycles down there, they roll their blade down there, so the girls... My daughter and her friend had a ball. So that was something that they did yesterday. And it was 9 o'clock. Or about 9. Yeah, about 9 o'clock. And one of the guys from work looks at me and goes, Are you awake? I said, It's past my bedtime. I'm well, first shift, you know. So, and a lot of us are. We're over there. There's about five of us. We're all like yawning. But Funny Bone Comedy Club wasn't until 9.45. We didn't get home. We stayed at our, my, my boss's house for a little bit. We're really good friends with them. We stayed at their house for a little bit and chatted. And we didn't get home until 1 o'clock in the morning. So that was a rough night. And then I got up about 9.30 this morning. So I, I slept in, but I'd rather sleep in more. And then about 9, 5 o'clock tonight, I started wanting to fall asleep. And I knew if I fall asleep, I'm not going to go to bed tonight. So... Um, let's do back then. So, what else? Um, I don't know. So, this week is surgeon appointments. And then my daughter wants me to take her to watch the boys basketball team from her school tomorrow night. So, I'll probably run her to that and we'll stay and watch that. Tuesday is her team's basketball game. I do go. And it's home. So, since it's home, I'll go and support them. Um, a lot of her friends play and I'm, you know, I enjoy watching them. So that's Tuesday. Wednesday I have the physical therapy. And then Thursday my daughter plays at home. Well, 
for Team Joe's. And then Friday, oh, I'm sorry, also Tuesday, my son plays basketball as well. So as soon as my daughter's game's over, I'll run over to my son's game. My daughter's game's at 5.30. My son, does, he plays varsity, so his is until 7.30. So I'll run over to his game. Wednesday's therapy. Thursday's basketball again for my daughter. And then Friday's basketball for my son. Saturday is tournament time for my daughter's um, team. It's probably about a half hour, 40 minutes from my house. If I, I'm thinking I'm not going to go since she's not playing. She'll go. She'll ride the bus with her friends, but I'm not going to go. Um, I think that's all. I know. I just feel like I was wasting time when I was doing this, but grab my iPad, take a walk. But you know, this is ugly. My husband did this. I hate it. So we put a faux brick wall in my um, bar area of my kitchen slash dining room area and just to see what it would look like and that was leftover. My husband put that on and I hate it with a passion. I'll show you. My, my sink is just ridiculous. Like see the blue tape? Now that's my husband's side of the sink. And then I just end up throwing everything on there. I'm so bad. But that's... <laughs> My sink. So, um, yeah. Yep, so, then my shower. Anyways, showed you a little bit about my bathroom now. Um, I hate that faux wall with passion. It's gonna come down when I start painting. And I just dread taking it down, so. Um, here's my dog, Chewy. Say hi, Choo Choo. He's a big level bear. Um, the German Shepherd. A lot of people are scared of him, but maybe. All right. I guess it's time for me to lay down and play some games on my iPad and enjoy the TV shows that are on. And um, I'll update later this week probably. See ya.